And first and foremost, Public Health Dayton Montgomery County is urging parents to schedule their students for all the required vaccinations before they return to school. Medical experts say many children did not get those regular vaccinations last year because of the coronavirus disruption. Two News reporter Adam Reif live in Dayton with the new information about the return to school. Brooke, Mark, the medical director here at Public Health says there's no way of knowing exactly how many children missed their vaccines last year, but it's likely a significant number. And he says if they don't catch up this year, they'll be susceptible to dangerous illnesses. I think the disruption in childhood vaccines is not so much hesitancy as it is simply there's been a disruption in the usual processes. Public Health's medical director says many people just did not get medical care during the peak of the pandemic, and that includes children who usually get vaccines required for school. As a consequence, we have children who will need to do some catch up probably to get their vaccines done to protect themselves and their playmates. Different ages are required to get different vaccines. Among the vaccinations public health is encouraging parents to schedule are diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, measles, mumps, rubella, hepatitis B, chickenpox, and meningococcal. It's not that we're trying to enforce the law or that the schools are enforcing the law. The fact is, it's there for a reason, that's to keep kids safe. Public Health will offer vaccinations at its clinic at the Ribold Building at 117 South Main Street in Dayton. Parents should bring their insurance information, but no one will be refused service due to inability to pay. Dr. Doan says some new parents may not know about required vaccines, but it's the smart thing to do and part of responsible parenting. This is the same sort of thing, except that instead of reacting to what's happened, is to prevent something happening. And it's just good, good medical care for children. And again, they do encourage you to call ahead and schedule an appointment for your child to get those vaccines. Coming up tonight at 5, we'll talk more about what the upcoming school year will look like and what one Miami Valley district is doing to prepare. Live in Dayton, Adam Rife, 2 News, working for you.